Hello and welcome. Today we're taking a look at Maritime Calling. This has been developed by Tiamat Games, and it's set to come out here at the uh, in in the fall of, of this year. Uh, it's on Kickstarter at the moment. I'll have links to that down below. Uh, it's a it's a seafaring pirate ship style of of management game where uh, I guess not necessarily pirates, but you know wooden ship style of, of management game where it's a very uh, uh, detailed kind of thing where we have to hire our crew and and select them and put them in the places they need to go uh, make sure they have the tools they need we can go on expeditions out there in the uh, in the high seas so anyway I thought we'd take a look at the demo that they have out uh, at least that they have given me access to to show off here for uh, for this so let's see what we can do with maritime calling. Uh, there is a Steam page as well, which I'll have a link to uh, over on uh, down below. So, welcome to my ship. It's a very detailed kind of thing. I'm I'm always looking for some sort of a piratey kind of a thing. I think pirates when I think this, but not necessarily pirates. Um, where we're hiring a crew and you know managing a crew and all that kind of thing. And um, well, we'll see here how just how in depth this one uh, is is trying to be. Uh, we can go over text tells us what to do. We can also change. The, I'm just going through the control here. Um, which will, is mostly what this demo is. Kind of eases into the game. So we got a crew menu over here. So over here we have our crew. There's everybody. Michael Thompson. George Thompson. Uh, George over here is brawny. Uh, he also is, he's experienced. Uh, he knows how to do certain tasks as well. He's got some seamanship, some fighting prowess. Uh, also we can put him in, we have to put all these guys in where they need to go. We have, we have, we have folks on the, uh, on the helm and the lot and the sprit sail, the mizzen sail. We have people in the guy putting the galley and the anchor and the car, everywhere, everywhere. Uh, some of them are better at th other things than others. Uh, you can see that old Edward Taylor is is good at everything. Edward, all right. Where should it, uh, Edward? I guess we're gonna put you on the helm, buddy. <clears throat> and with a with a hairdo like that, get out there. Uh, and we gotta sort of you know mix and match and put them wherever they are are best at. I don't care about anyone good on the anchor. Um, on the sails is probably probably good to have a good cook. So George, you get in there in the kitchen. I'm gonna let you take. We'll see who goes else is out there. Uh, you go, there's George, we'll put, uh, on the, uh, the foresail, foresail, we'll put him out there. Carpentry, that's probably an important one. Uh, here, you go in there, you two get in there and get carpentry, uh, fishing. Uh, is that not a task? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, there you go, get in there. Anyone on the sail? There we go. So let's throw these guys out here just to get them on their jobs. Uh, I suppose we could go in here and, like, detailed, figure out who wants to do all this stuff, but whatever. Just get in there, don't make us sick. Get on the sails. Make sure that wheel's turning the way it's supposed to be going. And, um, ahoy or whatever. You know, that kind of stuff. You know, get in there, fish, and then all you guys don't know what you're doing, you get in there and you fill in the rest of the jobs. Okay. So, let's go raise the anchor here. Uh, we can do this by clicking the anchor button. Wink. And so what's happening is the anchor is is, is trying to be raised. Oh, I guess I to zoom in here and get a look at all these guys. There, he's, I think he's heading down. Oh, he's heading, heading down to have a seat. But someone will go over there and start cranking it and raising our anchor. It takes a little bit. We can increase the speed there. Uh, some folks are out there fishing now. We got some folks that are... Well, David's just out there walking around. We got old Edward Taylor at the uh, at the wheel. Excellent. Anchor should be raising here in a minute. Also, we have to raise some sails. Let's do it. So, let's click on those. Let's hoist them. And then we'll actually see our folks start climbing the rigging. And there they go. Scooting out. Excellent. And there they go. Sails raised. Oh, well, mostly. Uh, oh, we got some things up ahead. Uh, we do have a world map as well we can take a look at, which we are out here in the middle of nowhere. Uh, and uh, we'll continue listening to this, though. I'm going to slow it down, though, because I don't want to run into those rocks. That seems like it might be a little bit deadly. Uh, let's go to the galley. <clears throat> oh, not that one. Uh, galley. Okay, so these guys are sitting around doing nothing. Uh, let's make some soup. I would like to make... Uh, make me, like, six fish soup, please. Get to work. Want to make some dried fish? Okay, to the drying rack. Uh, we'll get... We'll get six dried fish out there. Uh, what else can you do? Salt? Yeah, yeah, salt some fish, too, while you're at it. Um, they're making all that stuff. We want to go to the rations view as well. They're working on this stuff. It's taking a little bit to get there. There you go. You're grabbing the fish. Dunk it in there. Perfect. Uh, let's go to... I made it soup right. Yep. Let's go into the rations menu, which is over here. 
And we can tell what the crew is going to eat. So I'd like you guys to eat some biscuits. Everyone loves a good biscuit. Some dried fish. And um, we got lots of water. Just water. Just dunk your head overboard and drink. They get, oh, they actually lose four health because it's not very good. What about a little bit of rum? And uh, that's a lot if I give you all this stuff. Fish soup too? Okay, well, they're happy then. Yeah, they're eating good. Okay, let's lose the biscuits. There we go. Water, rum, soup. Perfect. Okay, now let's go do some tech. Uh, let's go into the the innovations spot, and this is where all the tech is. Um, so like like Captain Game uh, Game Captain order play games for idle sailors to boost their morale. We have sort of a action point with authority. So every time you ask them to do something, this little number stamp thing here is is our authority we're spending on it. So let's go with uh, shoals of reefs. Each, each meal gets more taste. There's one down here I saw that had earn their respect, increased authority of game by one per hour. I like the sound of that, so we'll work on that. So that's just sort of ticking along here uh, as we go, and we'll get some. Uh, we'll uh, we'll learn that thing, and uh, we'll get some more authority. We got 25 right now. If we wanted to come to our crew area, area, and we can say, you guys on on the helm, um, why don't you go learn on the job? Give you some more experience doing that, and we'll do the same thing with the galley folks because it seems like an important job to have good cooks, as long as they don't betray us. Uh, we can go say, uh, that, that's spending my points. I only got 16 authority now because I just spent 10 working on that. So that's how that works. Um, I think else we got. Oh, carpentry. I mess with carpentry at all, but if we need to chop some logs into planks, sure, do that, buddy. Stay, oh, is that like inside the ship? Can I look around? Oh, nice. We have, we have polar bears. There he goes. Oh, Nice. Well done, buddy. I knew I hired the right carpenter. Okay, and then we can see down. That's kind of cool. Okay. Uh, finish our innovation. Let's go ahead and speed up the game a little bit. Uh, for draw uh, for driving, we I'm using WASD. We can just spin the wheel this way and and you know uh, let's, let's pick up speed so we can see, really see us cruising here. It's not easy, but we can sort of spin the wheel a bit and and. Uh, I think our goal is to get over there. We gotta make our way through all this stuff. The demo, however, is very kind, and it lets us skip this bit. Because, uh, it would just be embarrassing. We can try to make our way through there. Let's go around this way. There we go. It's difficult to keep it straight, because you kind of have to, like, you turn it, and then you have to turn back straight again. Otherwise, you keep you keep turning. Which I suppose is accurate. Let's go around this thing. We're waiting for this innovation to get done. Let's... Spin it around here. There we go. There we go. And back straight again. Yes. Excellent. So when we get to... We'll see when we get to land and we send out our expedition to go explore. Uh, it changes quite a bit. The gameplay changes a lot. So we'll see how that plays out. I don't know. I didn't read through the Kickstarter page too in-depth. I just mostly looked through the Steam page. So I'm not entirely sure what the uh, what the big plans are or any stretch goals or anything like that. Um, as far as where they, if they want to take the game. But, uh, how far along is for this thing? Are we, oh, we're almost there. Okay. So now we're sort of making our way through here. Uh, why is drop anchor on? Oh, they dropped the anchor because it's meal time. So I think they automatically, it's like an option we can have. We automatically drop the anchor to have, to have a feast. Um, but we, we, we're trying to get to there. And in the interest of the demo, we can actually skip things. So we're going to go ahead and teleport to the bay. By here. Okay. So we're at the bay. Uh, we can now begin a quest. And so let's go and do that. Uh, we need to go into the... Um, oh, sorry. Developing advanced perception innovation. Okay. okay. Which one's that? Advanced perception innovation. This one here. Okay. Work on that one. Uh, expedition tab in the crew menu. Yep, yep. We want to go into here and we go to the expedition tab. And the same thing. We have to assign people where they're going to go. we got fighters. We have gatherers. We have people that are going to guard the ship. Uh, as well as some stewards that are going to hang out back here as well. So let's get some... Well, uh, we're, who's a good fighter? We got lots of good fighters. So yeah, let's make sure we got some fighters in here. Uh, we'll make sure we get some some gatherers in as well. And then we're going to assign them some tools for whatever they need to do the job. A couple of you guys can guard the ship well. Uh, you're good at fighting, so get in there and you're all good at fighting. Okay. And you guys go and gather things. A couple of you aren't very good at gathering, but you'll you'll learn. You just pick things up. That's all I need to worry about. Okay, you're over there. We'll get some stewards in here. 
And then we're going to assign them some, some tools. So everyone that's fighting, we need to give them some things. How about a... Um, how about some armor? And uh, a musket. And then we've got our gatherers over here. They're going to need a backpack uh, and some tools. For gathering things, maybe some rope. What do you need for a... Um, maybe an axe. You can cut down some trees or something. Uh, you guys just guard the ship. And then the stewards... Uh, what does the steward do? What are you guys supposed to do? I, I don't know what, what your job is. Oh, I can just hit that and it just does... Oh, look, I could just hit that button right there. I missed it. Uh, okay, uh, well, let's go ahead and just... I'm going to give you a rope and uh, uh, an axe. I guess. That seems good. Are we moving? Okay. Okay, that's good down. That's good. We need to wait for advanced perception to unlock, which I guess is the one I should have done before. Uh, that's fine. Let's go ahead and start this quest up, though. So, the foresight calmly heaves on the waves in the middle of a picturesque bay. Behind them, the underwater rocks glisten with knives in the sun, and the ship is damaged. Supplies are running low. It's just a matter of mooring of to unknown shores and hoping for the best. So, we can disembark. We can take a look through the spyglass and take a look at this island. Let's do that. Three sides of the bay are surrounded by dense, dense thickets, separated from the sea by a narrow strip of beach. On the south side, the exit from the bay is guarded by reefs. Given the state of the ship, it's not even worth going near them. But in such a harbor, your flagship is reliably protected from the storm prying eyes. On the sandy beach just north of your ship, you can see a colony of large tortoises basking in the sun. They look like easy prey, at least while on land. Tortoises, I, from what I understand, are delicious. So, let's go. No time to, yeah, go eat them. The boat slowly approaches the sun-drenched beach. Your people, unused to the solid ground of their feet, step a little clumsily, but with evident pleasure on the warm sand. If it wouldn't for your mission, you could stay here forever. But the lack of supplies and your eternal thirst for adventure leave no choice. Dense thickets surround the beach from all directions. You are certain that you have never seen trees like this before. Unfortunately, you have no idea which direction is best to go. We'll have to wait and follow the guts. Okay, follow the guts. Yeah, let's go. let's go there. You see two sailors crucified on the beach near the trees. The poor devils have been dead for quite some time, but it is unclear who tied them up and who left them there. After all, it seems that the island was uninhabited. So we can send our most experienced guy to explore, to go examine the bodies. Uh, it's enough to send a novice to look at it, pitifully. But it looks like we are on a hostile island. We need to move on. No, no, send the red shirt in. Sailor carefully approaches the corpses and begins to turn them over. A sudden hunch hits you and you're about to shout, Don't do it! But... A few rough-hewn stakes plunge into the sailor's body, and he falls dead. <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> Secluded Bay is crowned by a small cape. The moored foresight calmly heaves on tidal waves, while the palm trees covering rugged gen jungle bend toward the sandy beach. Several large sea turtles, sea turtles are visible near the water's edge. So we can go... Can we select different ways? Yeah. Down there? Foresight moored in the bay is perfectly visible. Each of the sailors casts at least one glance at the ship. Some with sadness, some with hope, some with tired contempt. You don't know what your eyes are filled with. Probably all of it together. Distracted from your sad thoughts, you look around the beach and realize that sea turtles live in this part of it. And with the right luck, you'll be able to replenish your food supplies. Yeah, let's eat. Let's eat. Where's our food supplies? We're at five. Hungry, they're either more, more uh, fatigued. Let's eat. You see the sand full of traces of sea turtles on the edge of a sandy beach suggest that these animals seem to have settled and nestled the whole bay. Yeah, let's go set, go, yeah, go eat them. For Linky, eventually your crewmen return with the rich spoils. You've gained 20 meat. Okay. Let's set up some camp. You give the command to make camp. Tired sailors relish the opportunity to rest and catch a breath. Time to decide what to do next. Um, well, let's eat. Um, okay. Uh, set, set ration. I don't know what that means. Conf um, Okay. I don't, okay. 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 Um, okay. Okay. Uh, move on. There we go. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Uh, let, let's sleep. How about that? Let's prepare to rest. We just got here. Take a nap. Assign slayers to the watch and give command for a short nap. The short break might not be what their men need, but they are happy to get some rest. 50 fatigue has been restored. Oh, okay. Good. Let's, let's break camp. Enough wasting time. Um... No, no, break camp. And now we're going to go... We can, so I guess we're here. We can move on down this way. We can hit into the... Let's just cover the outside here. Oh, here we go. The south, you see a craggy knob on a cape projecting into the ocean. You were terrified to think that for ships in the dark, it was almost invisible. 
One day, when people settle these places, there will definitely be a lighthouse that will save the island and this beautiful beach with a new castaway of unwitting occupants. Um, do we want to go? Let's go in the jungle. One of the sailors decided to take a swim. Without asking your permission, he laid his load on the sand, threw off his clothes, and went out to sea. Don't you have enough seawater for swimming? You shout after him. No, Captain, I just couldn't resist. Go ahead, I'll catch up with you in a couple minutes. Oh, red shirt number two's dead. He says in a cheerful voice. Well, the hell with him. Let him really catch up. You think, or is it time to make a stop and rest while waiting for him? No, no, no. We'll lose him. That's what he gets. Seems that an empty beach does not carry any dangers, but it also does not involve interesting finds. Well, the lack of good news. Okay, um... We cover the outside and then go in? Yeah, let's go out here. Looking at a sandy beach, you think about whether it can be so hot somewhere in the world that the sand will melt and turn itself into smooth glass. It will be so thick here that there will be no way back. No way to break it if everyone will not just walk on it, but slide. What thoughts do not come to mind from boredom? Meanwhile, here, apparently, there is an opportunity to relax and hunt for sea turtles. Uh, no, no, no. We don't need more turtles. We had enough. Let's, let's go one more. They say that the desert, in the desert, when it's very hot, you can fry an egg directly on the stone heated by sand of the sun. I wonder if it would be possible to do this on a sandy beach. Or, for example, cook a soup. What's the soup made of? Maybe... Uh, maybe our of that turtle over there, who will hungry to hide in the water if he hears it. However, you can just light a fire instead. Yeah, he wants me to camp. No, no, I'm going out. We're getting a little tired, though. We do need to take a rest. Time for a snack. The thought strikes you when you see uh, the bushes with red berries, which seem to grow only in this part of the island, but not the berries. You continue to speculate, noticing that someone has already eaten them. Someone quite large who was able to get the berries at, at height more than a yard from the ground. Um, yeah, let's set up camp. Seems like a safe place. Give command to take camp. Tired, uh, folks. Uh, yeah, let's take a little bit of a nap. Uh, let's, 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 let's hunt some animals. Well, is that, is that high? I don't know. Oh, above 50 is critical. Okay. So, yeah, yeah we're gonna, we're gonna take a nap. Okay. Take a nap. And, um, I think we take another nap. Double nap. Okay. And then we're gonna, we're gonna eat. Eat. We're gonna try to eat. Twenty meat and ration. I don't know what that means. Farm ration. I don't. I don't. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't do us any good. It just. We just keep on clicking it. Hmm. All right. All right. All right. Give me. Give me out of here. Was there, a, was there a pig back there? Uh, let's go and do some hunting. Group has finally tracked down the huge mammals that you suspected are inhabiting this island. These majestic creatures remind you of boars. But at the same time, they like nothing you've seen before. Furry tails and horns. They'll be certainly be a challenge to hunt. Let's get them. We're hungry. Lengthy and brutal, the creatures were holding their own fear of, full of furiosity and brutal strength. Two of your brave crewmen have died from the wounds they received. You gained 40 meat. From the crewmen or the boars? Cook this stuff. Okay, let's break camp. We need to cook things. Um, let's go inland. We're getting very hungry here. To the north, a lone peak is visible as if it did not grow out of out of it, but fell from the sky and remained forever on the island. So much does this mountain jutting out in the middle of the plain look alien. To the south, the jungle grows frighteningly, frighteningly dense. I wonder if they once grew on the spot where the mountain fell from the sky. Let's explore. You got a strong hunch that there is a path leading to a hidden place. You give command to the settlers to scout the nearby area. After a while, the scout returns with great news. Discovered a new location. Is that this one? Mysterious Lone Mountain does not give you any opportunity to avoid it. It beckons you with its unnatural quality. Even the sailors can feel it. A little up the slope, you find a crevice. Its size is enough for a person to climb through and see what secrets are hidden behind it. Do it. Walking along the slopes of the mountain, you experience a strange uneasiness. Unnatural silence. Dizziness and a smell of rotten foliage. Your natural instinct tells you that something is wrong with this place. You're in a cemetery. Scour. For a long time, only the quiet conversations of the sailors and their footsteps are heard. This place is depressing, even for you, a strong man. And this terrible place has a strong influence on the sailors. It seems that even the sounds of footsteps are here are getting muffled. After half an hour of useless searching, you hear a long howl. One of the search groups is calling for help. Now, yeah, go go run to there. Find one of these search groups caught in a deep trap. It's primitive, but it's no less dangerous. This is a man-made pit which stands directly in front of some kind of depression in the, in the likeness of a crevice. 
If the sailors hadn't been trapped, you'd never have noticed. Meanwhile, you see that four of your sailors from the search party are at the bottom of the pit, and one of them apparently already dying. You can also hear some hidden mechanism starting to work. Obviously, we need to hurry. You find one of the search groups caught in a deep trap. It is primitive, but is no less dangerous. Man-made pit. Yep. Uh, we read this thing over and over again. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, uh, it's a mechanism at work. Um, no time for sailors. Forward. No, no, no. No, no, no. The lives of the sailors are above all else. Well, not, not all else. Without hesitation, you grab a rope from the nearest sailor, wrap it around your waist, and go down to the pit with a safety net. In a matter of minutes, you manage to pull three survivors to the top. At the last moment, you jump out yourself before the artificial collapse does not cover the passage and the pit. Um, must be an entrance to this cave. Sure. Stubbornly shoveling blockage after blockage, you finally scratch, exhausted, but happily make your way into the cave. Moving through a narrow tunnel, you finally enter a huge cave. Water rolls down the walls of the cave, but you also notice the fumes. Yes, quite quickly you find torches that are strangely hung. Um, I guess we're going to light them. Just a couple of hits of silicon and silicon, and the nearest torch is immediately lit. But from it, fires of burnt oil run along the walls and floor. It takes less than a minute, and the whole cave becomes lit up like day. And its vaults are deafened by the dull guttural sound of a bugle. At the far end of the cave, you can see another exit. Looks like this entrance is used by the natives themselves. Judging by the sound of the bugle, the cave was guarded. But this is quickly forgotten when you turn your gaze to the center of the cave. And there is an altar there, made of pure gold. There are many nuggets on it, which are probably considered offerings by the locals. Oh yeah, we take everything. Uh, so we can take everything. We can take only what will be quick and pick up and get away with it. Or just run away. I'll take a big nugget. Uh, we get everything. Mountains give a long-awaited coolness, but the rocky path requires increased attention. Silence around you pleasantly envelops your squad. No, don't get distracted. Don't get... Just take the stuff. It's gold. With loud growls and howls, painted savages rush at you. You do not even have time to count them. Three sailors died. Sailors fight in melee combat, killing 24 natives. The noise of the battle gradually subsides, and only the me moans of the dying are heard. Looks like the enemy has moved away to regroup. You have time to make a decision. Well, I guess we're going to make a defense. Sailors fortified themselves and took good cover. Soon the enemies jump out of their hiding places and start shooting arrows at you from their bows. Two sailors died. Blast them! Sailors shoot their muskets, killing ten natives. Sailors fight in melee, killing twenty-six natives. The noise of battle at the clang of steel. Uh, but it looks like the enemy has faltered under our onslaught. We won. Okay. I say we make camp. Give command to make camp. Tired sailors relish the opportunity to rest, and uh, we're not going to eat this time, though, because uh, it causes problems. So we're just going to sleep and uh, try to get our um, that back. Okay. Okay, uh, I'd love to feed him, but I just don't know how to do it, because we're very hungry. Uh, what's that do? Inventory space. Oh, we're fine. We got 100 gold, 40 meat. Okay. Enough wasting time. Let's, uh, we're stuck in here. We're going to have to go out this way first before we move on. So we got the lone peak. Let's head out. What's over here? Water, lots of water. The whole lake is fresh of untapped, fresh untapped water. It seems like this lake is formed in some lopsided crevice in the ground. In the ground is fed by springs gushing from the bottom. Gather it. Okay. Check water on one sailor. No, just drink and fill everything. Drink the pond. Felt good. Move on. It's not one of those. It's not one of those pleasant places. You have to choose. Make your way through a fairly dense jungle or risk falling off a slippery cliff into the lake. You come across a th cut in the thicket. Great opportunity to, to relax. No, we don't relax around here. So we can make our way back to... I guess we could go back here and jaw off some of our stuff. We're still good, though. We need to eat. Um, oops. Didn't mean to do that. What's going on? One of the sailors asked a question that has been on the tip of everyone's tongue for a long time. You've been asking yourself this question for hours. Only the compass gives you hope that you are not lost. If it weren't for it, the equally terrifying jungle would drive you crazy. To search for gold, you answer the sailor with the obvious phrase, or your own death. However, gold has no legs, so it will not run away. Inform your squad and command a halt. We'll keep going. They say it's hot in hell, you think. They say that everything is red from hot coals. They lie. At least in part, it's hot, yes, but everything is green, not red. I know for sure because that's where I am right now. Your squad seems to be floating through a mixture of heavy humid air and equally heavy moist vegetation. Suddenly one of the sailors begins to furiously chop down the bushes and creepers around him with an axe. 
After a few seconds, others join in. Uh, after a couple of minutes of frantic swinging of the guns, the tired sailors sit down on the ground in a small cleared area. We silently join them. Okay, so we're exhausted. We're going to make our way back to the base here, though. Base camp. I wonder how well the local birds distinguish one tree from another. It seems, for the 2,000th time, you think, looking back at another shrill cry of an unseeable feathered bird, the jungle is not so dense here, but still very... Every next yard of the way is exactly like the previous one. Let's explore the area. Oh, we found another little path going on. Let's, let's take a look at the path. It's a good thing you... Uh, good thing no one has seen your compass. The crew thinks you're leading them straight through the jungle, but you know you're not. A vague hunch has led you to this part of the forest, and for good reason. Jungle opens up a little, and you have a view of beautiful trees worthy of a royal forest. Apparently, they are so old and powerful that they did not fall under the onslaught of the local creeping, all-consuming vegetation. Let's chop them. Get 13 of those trees. Okay. I think we drank a bunch of our water. What's going on there? Okay, uh, let's, let's get back. Okay. Um, one of the sailors was making his way through the tall grass. He swore loudly and harshly. As the men barely had time to catch him to prevent him falling, you didn't immediately understand what happened. As you looked around, you noticed that the culprit of the attack was crawling back into the thicket, glistening with scales. The victim's face shows a lot of pain, although he is holding up well and doing everything possible to hide it. You do not know how dangerous the bite of the snake is, but you are sure that the wounded squad... With a wounded squad, it will be more difficult to move around the jungle. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, provide him with assistance. Without hesitation, just settle down for a rest. The venom of the snake is unknown to you, and by and large, there is not much you can do. The usual dressing, not to mention rest, is able to overcome the distance between life and death. Other sailors look at you with respect. Caring for the wounded is an essential trait of a good commander. That's right. That's right. Okay, to the ship. Let's hunt some turtles, and then get to the ship. Okay, 13 more meat to the ship. Yes. Okay, and then back we go. All right, well, there's a little look of the, uh, at the demo anyway. So uh, this is Maritime Calling. I'm, I'm intrigued by this. I'm more intrigued by just the, the amount, oh, I lost some people. <laughs> the amount of, of crew and sort of, you know, this action where you um, we click on these things and we can see them like clawing up the sides and actually doing the doing the jobs, it's very very cool. Uh, I want to see some combat because I can see we got cannons on there. But anyway, let's call it a day here. Thanks again for watching. I'll have links below, and you can check everything out that way. And I will see you. I'll see you next time. If I turn this, does it turn it there? Oh yeah, it does. Yeah, look at that. Thanks for watching.